Here is a quick introduction on how I make a scrolling score from a manuscript. The first job is to go through the manuscript. Here I've got the tenore part for the Buonamente and I'm chopping out each of the, uh, the lines of the stave. After deleting the background, I can then align each of these uh, clips from the manuscript into a single line. Now I resize the canvas so I have one very long strip. And from here, I can start aligning each of the staves so that all of the five lines match up. Um, of course, these are hand drawn and uh, they could be quite wonky, they weren't too bad in the tenore part, but in the other violin parts I had to rotate quite a lot of them to keep them straight. Uh, I export out the PNG file and uh, now we're in Motion, which is the animation app that I like to use. Here I uh, resize the score so it's the right size for the canvas. Um, and then after that I uh, draw a mask over the top so that all we're going to see is a small rectangle. In the, uh, in the center of the canvas. Uh, the edges are then feathered um, so that there's a nice soft edge to the manuscript. In order for the uh, mask to stay in the same place, we have to link it uh, with the X position of the background score. So here I've uh, connected those two things together. First, it's best to have a rough idea of the keyframing. So I keyframe the beginning and the end of the clip so that uh, I know that they start and end at the same place. Um, from here, it can sometimes be a pain to make sure that the scale of the link uh, matches the scale of the score. Um, and I'm just here checking such that the mask stays in the center of the screen the whole time. With that done, now is the uh, somewhat easy and also tedious task of keyframing the score. Uh, we've got this general idea so it moves from from left to right, but we actually have to adjust it so that it follows the music that's being played. And with that, we're done. We need to export it as a Final Cut Pro template and into the proper score video we go.